constitutional court on Tuesday. Um, the leader of your former political home, Mr. Julius Malema, said that the agenda of the MK party is to destroy uh, the EFF. How do you respond to such claims? I honestly did not see that. I did not see him saying that. Okay, I'm telling you now. So I, I, I'm, I'm not even aware of that. The, but one thing which we know is that Mkondo is not existing to destroy any political party. We are appealing to majority of the voters of South Africa. I mean, there is no need to destroy uh, the economic freedom factors. No, the, 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 the MK can get two-thirds of majority in terms of the vote in South Africa without taking a single vote from the EFF. The EFF was not voted by 91% of the people of South Africa. So there is no need to co concentrate our energy in trying to uh, destroy uh, the economic freedom fighters. Our focus is to persuade a majority of the people of South Africa, but is to persuade a lot of progressive forces to associate with the Mkonto season. And we are successfully doing such. And because that is the agenda that we think we should consolidate on. We are not in the business of destroying uh, political parties. Those who join Mkonto season, whether they were members of the ANC or EFF or DA or ATM or what, whatever organization, they do so out of their own political consciousness. These are adults who, who, who fall into superior alternatives. They realize that there is a proper vehicle that is assembling the best of the best. Let us associate with it instead of existing in small and viable fiefdoms that have got no potential, none whatsoever, to could win electoral power in South Africa. So we are in no business to try to, to, to destroy any uh, organization as a controversies. What we know though is that we are going to unite the majority of the people of South Africa. We are going to unite more than two-thirds of the voters of South Africa behind the banner of Umkonto season, uh, which is going to take over political power in local government, will take over political power at national level on behalf of the people so that we can drive through a thoroughgoing transformation agenda to empower our people.